Billy and Blaze. Billy was a little boy who loved horses more than anything else in the world. Whenever he had a chance to ride some farmer's horse, he used to pretend that it was a prancing pony. One birthday morning, his father said to him, Out on the lawn, you will find your birthday present. And there stood a beautiful bay pony with four white feet and a white nose. Oh, Billy had never been so happy. No boy was ever more proud and happy than Billy when he went out for his first ride. Right from the very start, Billy and his new pony seemed to like and understand each other. After thinking for a long time about many names, Billy decided to call the pony Blaze because he had a white blaze down his face. Before going to bed that first night, he took a flashlight and went down to the stable to see if Blaze was all right. Already Blaze seemed to feel at home and he was glad to see him. As soon as it was daylight, Billy was up cleaning and brushing Blaze so they could take a long ride after breakfast. It was not long before Blaze could come galloping whenever Billy called, for he knew there would be a carrot or a piece of sugar for him, as well as much petting, and he too enjoyed the rides through the woods where there was so much to see. One day when they were riding along a path through the woods, they came to a tree fallen across the path and Blaze jumped quickly over it. Billy was so surprised he almost fell off, but it was very exciting and he decided to try it again. So when they came to the next small fence, he leaned forward and gripped with his knees and over they sailed. It felt like flying. One day in the woods, they heard a dog howling as if he was in pain. They rode to the spot, and there they found a dog caught in a trap that had probably been set for some wild animals. Although the dog was badly hurt, he seemed to know that Billy was trying to help him. He stood very still while Billy opened the trap and set him free. And then he limped along home with Billy and Blaze. When they got home, Billy bandaged the dog's foot and gave him something to eat. He was very hungry. The dog seemed to have no home. No one could find out where he came from, so Billy's father let him keep him. He named the dog Rex, and wherever Billy went, there you were sure to find Rex too. Rex and Blaze were great friends. He went down to the stable to see Blaze very often and usually slept there with him. One day, when Billy and Blaze were out riding, they saw a sign on a tree telling about a horse show and a silver cup that was to be given to the best pony. Let's try for it, said Billy to Blaze. When Billy got to the show with Blaze and Rex and saw how many fine ponies were there, Oh, he began to be afraid that he might not win the cup after all. But one pony after another knocked down the rail when he jumped, and Billy began to feel that Blaze might win after all. He knew that he and Blaze had often jumped over fences almost as high as these. At last, Billy's turn came. Blaze jumped perfectly, and Rex jumped beside him. Everyone clapped and cheered. Rex was not supposed to jump but everybody liked to see a jo dog jump so well. You have a fine pony, said the judge, as he gave Billy a silver cup almost too big for him to hold. A man came out and took a picture of all three of them. Then the judge pinned a blue ribbon on Blaze's bridle with first prize printed in gold letters on it. The grass and the trees looked very green, and the birds sang very gaily as the three went home. Blaze seemed to know he had done well, for he carried his head very high and pranced all the way. Billy was as happy as any boy could be. For Blaze's supper that evening, he brought many carrots and much sugar, and Rex had the finest bone in the house. Billy set the silver cup in his room. 
Every time he looked at it, he was very, very proud of Blaze. His pony was his best friend.